I think you might know why Spotted Star didn't appoint me apprentice. She obviously knew I was six months old today. I'm her nephew. Does she just not like me? Is it because I haven't grown since I was born? Sorry, honey. I don't know. Do you think she would have any reason? Do you have any suspicions? Well, remember when Forever Kid was born? Spotted Star was sure in a hurry to get away from him. Hmm. So you don't know? Dear, don't worry. I'll make sure you become an apprentice. I promise. Really? Well, if you're sure... Your mom will make sure of it. But just in case, why don't you help her convince Spotted Star to promote you? Alright then. I'll prove myself. <laughs> That's a great idea. Why don't you? Alright, I will. I'll do my best. So, how should I prove myself? Um, what about you go to a two-leg house? Wait, what? A two-leg house? Are you kidding? Well, yeah, you could just go there until you survive, so she'll think you're brave. And then Spotter Star will promote you. I don't know about that. It's not a good idea. Well, you ask me, I say two legs. What's the worst cake can do? Uh, I don't know. Kidnap me, maybe? And what if they have a dog? Then what? Just think how brave you'll seem when you come back. Well, which two-leg place? Do you have one in mind? Which house? Maybe one with a cat? No dogs? That seems much wiser. I have seen one like that. That way. It's pretty cool, <laughs> if you ask me. I believe in you, buddy. Go along now. Prove yourself. Alright, I will, Flame Paw. I will. Whoa. And you are. Oh, me? I'm just a typical house cat. Nothing here to see. <sighs> oh, really? Uh, yeah, really. Oh, sure, I see, and the smells of many other cats on your pelt is just, I don't know, your owner's house? How many cats do you live with in there? Uh, what? Owner? I mean, yeah, owner. They're cool. Yeah, I live with a lot of cats and my owner. <sighs> Hold on. So, I haven't seen you around because... Wait, you're lying in a den now? Ahem! All house cats should know that this is a cat bed. Oh, sure. Yeah. Look, you're no house cat. That's obvious. Are you from the mountains? Uh, yeah, fine. You got me. Unlike other house cats, I know they don't eat bones and such nonsense. What? Nothing. Just the other cats say you're all evil and, and bloodthirsty, and I don't know where that started. So, what's the, are the mountains like? Is it nice up there? Um, yeah, they're really big. Of course they're really big, doofus. They're freaking mountains. I'm sorry, go on. I didn't mean to be rude. Um, they have a lot of prey, we hunt for food, and we work together and stuff. Huh, okay. We house cats get to get fed by your loving owner. Who were just sort of there to feed us and give us free massages and pick up our poo when we fling it out of the box. Wait! Fling poo? Out of a box? What's with the box and why would you fling droppings out of it? Wait, you mean to tell me you don't do it? Thank goodness. The cat on the street, Cheshire, tells me everyone does it. Okay, not sure if I want to meet him. You are smart, young warrior. Why would you fling poo? Well, who knows? He's just like, check it. I rule. A may owner's mad by poo flinging. Any clue? Fine. He has his own. Yes. His own. Yes. You're not one of his secret society, master poo flingers. They are the masters at flinging and knowing where their master will step. They call it the key to a cat's life. Poo flinging. Sounds stinky if you ask me. Ugh. It sure does. 
They give ranks on Pooh Flinging. He has a red belt. Grandmaster Pooh Flinger, along with his stray boys, who teach young house cats the art of hurling dung, throwing sneaky, and their battle cry, PADUNG! Oh, anyway, back on subject. So, owners just make things easier. No, oh, that's an owner? Whoa. Anyway, you're pretty cute. <laughs> you can stop by and chat whenever you'd like. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will. Why are you here, anyway? In my clan, we have ranks. Like what? There are kids, apprentices, warriors, the medicine cat who heals everyone, her apprentice, the deputy, and the leader of the whole clan. And the queens. Let me guess, you're a newborn? I mean, I mean, a kid? I'm six months old. You look like a kid size. I haven't grown since I was one week. Oh, you poor thing. So anyway, at six months old, we are become apprentices with a new name. What is your name anyway? It's Forever Kit. That's a bit weird. I'm Goldie. So as an apprentice, I'd be Forever Paw. I don't understand the name thing at all. Go on, please. Oh, yeah. I wasn't made an apprentice, so I came here to prove myself. Against my owner? My owner is the nicest. Eh, it was my friend's idea. Eh, but still, I think catching a fish or two will get you promoted. Hey, you know, there's a fishbowl in my house. I don't like that little rascal, so you can finally bring him back to camp and eat that pain in the tail. Sure, good idea. Let's do it. So this is the thing every cat wants to eat? This slimy, scaly thing that eats its own droppings? Yeah. Okay. Well, how are we going to kill this thing? Well, usually when I need something, I bat it like this. You're, you're joking, right? Uh, no, seriously. I mean, if I want to move a leaf, it works. If I want to see if that leaf is really a bird, I'd bat it. I mean, seriously, if a bear batted the water you were swimming in, would you come out? Or would you just swim away? Huh. <laughs> swim away? Really? Yeah. So, wait, so you never killed a fish before? Oh no, Mr. Forest Cat. I thought you would have done that already. Have you ever killed anything before? I stepped on a jude bug once. I felt kind of bad. Really? Yes. Okay, so should we try and grab it with our paw, or is it too big? This one is larger than normal goldfishes are. Uh, sure, I guess so. Okay, so you're going to stick your paw in, grab it with your claws. Wait, we never agreed it would be me. Oh my gosh, you wanted the fish anyways. But you wanted to kill this goldfish in specific. This is ridiculous. Fine, here I go. I'll end our fighting. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Star Clan, yes! Woo! Uh, 